Let me show you three tips for better 3D camera tracking in After Effects. So to get started, I usually head to Motion Elements to find some stock footage because they have a great selection and we can sort by what's free. So with our clip in our After Effects timeline, we'll apply the 3D camera tracker effect to it and then open up this advanced tab. And the idea here is to get our average error to as low of pixels as possible. So the first tip is to choose the correct shot type for your footage. If we shot with a fixed lens that isn't zooming in or out, we'll choose fixed angle of view. If we used a zoom lens and it's actively zooming in or out in our shot, we'll choose variable zoom. If you know the exact angle of view that was used on your specific clip, we can choose specify angle of view and input it manually. For this example, I'll use fixed angle of view. Tip number two is using the correct solve method. Now, auto detect is going to attempt to detect the best method for tracking your specific shot. Next, typical is going to be best when your scene has a bunch of different objects in it. Mostly flat scene would be good if you were shooting something like the side of a building that is mostly flat. Finally, if your footage was shot on a tripod and the only movement in it is a tripod pan, then you can choose tripod pan. For this example, I'll choose typical. Now, finally, tip three, if there's an unwanted object in your scene being tracked, you can simply highlight the track points and hit delete, and the scene will be reanalyzed without those tracking points, hopefully giving you a cleaner camera track. Now, all that's left to do is hit create camera and drag whatever you want to track into your scene onto your composition and turn it on as a 3D layer to get something that looks like this.